In today's video, I'm going to be going over the best possible custom tactics on EAFC 24. And just like last year, it is a 4-3-2-1. Let's get right into it. So, a width of 47 and a depth of 71. Pretty straightforward here so far. Make sure you have 71 depth on as it's still not patched. And it doesn't seem like it will be patched for quite some time. Build up play, balance as usual. And then direct passing. Very, very... Uh, Typical uh, tactics so far, but these get very interesting in the uh, player instructions with a 40 and then players in the box of five and I personally set my corners and free kicks to one. They just work the best. I don't like getting countered and for the corners that near post header is actually very broken with the way it sets up like this 40 width because you want to be compact when you're going up lots of tiki taka triangles that form up. So 4-3-2-1 like I said. Uh, you're going to want to have two, uh, I guess, box-to-box -box midfielders slash a CDM in the middle of the three center mids. And then your third center mid, I would put an attacker here. Personally, Griezmann is a very good option because he's got the finesse shot and he just works well in midfield. Good passing stats as well for a striker. And here we go. The tactics get good here. Uh, for the striker, we just have him on get in behind. The left attacking player comes back on the fence. Now, this is very important. You can mirror this on the other side. You just have to switch the instructions, uh, in my case, and Bellingham and Griezmann. So, if you're going to play the way I have it here, you want to have come back on the fence on your left forward. Your right forward, you're going to leave him on balance. You just want him to be there. Don't do anything to him. Honestly, you want to have a very creative player here. I think Neymar is a great ch uh, choice. And for striker, you want someone with pace and great finishing and some with the finesse shots. Just works very well. At the left, a center mid. I have to have him on just cover center, and that's it. And the reason you have him and the middle center mid on cover center, and you have him on stay back while attacking, and then you have your right center mid on cover wing. So basically what happens is this team defends in a 4-4-2. When you lose the ball, Neymar and Son stay up top. Griezmann covers the wing. Same max drops next to Bellingham. You defend in the 4-4-2. As far as I'm concerned, the 4-4-2 is probably the best offensive formation on the game. Uh, a very strong one at that. And doing these tactics fixes the problem where a 4-3-2-1 sometimes being exposed on the wings. The left back, you're going to have him on stay back while attacking. Now, if you want to do this the other way around, you would just put him on balanced and overlap like we have here with Weya. He's a very good card, actually. I think he's very underrated. He did bench my... Uh, 87 Evolutions, Lorente here. Center backs, I don't do anything to them. And then goalkeeper, you can put him on comes for crosses, but I tend to just leave mine on balance as I don't trust the A to make the right judgments. This is what my team looks like for this formation. Now, very key positions in this formation is going to be your right back because he's going to be getting forward a lot. That uh, Trailblazers Cancelo is what the pros use all the time. Evil Lorente is another great choice to play out there. You just want someone who's very good going forward because he's going to get very involved. On the wings... Again, you want someone like Neymar or someone with finesse shot so you can whip it in. I know uh, St. Max doesn't have it, but he's just one of those broken cards for me. Your CDM, you want him to have good defensive stats. I can't wait for this De Jong to get upgraded. He's fantastic there. He doesn't have the best work rates for it, but he does the job. Honestly, the instructions often trump what the player uh, work rates are. And then Bellingham, you have to have Bellingham in your team as that left center mid. You basically have one guy staying back and you're attacking with your right back, your left center mid, your right center mid, and the three forwards. It's attacking in six, defending with four. Everyone gets back. Let me take this team into some games so I can show you guys how the instructions work in game, but it's fantastic. Easily, hands down, the best instructions so far on FC24. Okay then, let's see what we come up against in this game. The 4-3-2-1 is going to be absolutely fantastic. He's got a very good team. That Juan Pedro card is actually very, very good. So here we go. See the team transitioning here. Get him inside. Sun getting in behind. Very easy. We can look for the finesse. We fake it here. Touch, and again, oh my days, I did too much there. I probably should have gone for the shot. But as you can see, you got your center mids going into the box, the right back overlapping. And now when we're defending, you can see the uh, shape here of the team. We're defending in a 4-4-2. Thank you very much. Here we go. Oh, come on. That's nice. Neymar. Oh, why would it go there? That was for St. Max, but it works out. Don't be afraid to push up with your left back as well. If the run is there, make sure he takes it. St. Max into Neymar. Near post, finish that. No way, how did he miss? How did he miss? Oof. Inside, yep, 
Son on the finesse shot. Come on, there we go. 1-1. One, one. Use the width from a throw in there. We get a good chance. We cut inside and we shoot. These tactics are fantastic, man. I love how they defend in the 4-4-2 as well. Honestly, this is what makes the tactics so overpowered for me. Inside. There we go. Oh, lovely. Inside again. He thought I was going to sweat it again. This time we just cut inside and finesse it with Son and he might be gone here. I think I would be as well. He knows what's coming with this formation. And there you have it. Pretty straightforward. Great, great tactics. I think a lot of you will be familiar with it as it was the best tactics on FIFA 23. At least for me, these tactics don't let me down. Again, strong points of the tactic is that it defends in a 4-4-2. It attacks with lots and lots of different options. I mean, you never have, uh, you never really have an option to lose the ball here because I feel like you have the width, so you can switch play, you got players in around the box, you can abuse finesse, you can abuse Travellas. It's a really well-rounded formation, and honestly, I mean this when I say it's the best one on the game. If you enjoyed the video and you want to let me know which formation review I should do next, let me know in the comment section down below. You can leave a like, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.